hey guys welcome back to my channel this is part two of my ttc journey um part one will be linked down there so you guys can definitely check out the description box below to find part one of this video um part two we're just gonna just move on to another point in the topic that i was talking about in the last video so um I'm not going to go into detail about what I was talking about, but basically it was about my, um, my pregnancy last year, not last year, five years ago when I had my son and, um, just everything that I've been dealing with, um, throughout that point and, um, labor and delivery and all that stuff. And, um, now we're going to talk about, you know, trying to conceive for baby number two, because it's been a long time now my body has should have been healed completely after five years so now we are ready um we feel emotionally like in our hearts that we are ready for baby number two and we're just gonna go for it all right so what i do to try to keep track of um everything that's going on is i i downloaded some apps um i downloaded four apps actually um on my um on my phone the Ovia app, which is really good. I do love that app very much. Um, I also downloaded the What to Expect When Expecting, the Bump app, and um, it's another app that I downloaded as well. That's pretty fun. Um, to me, my very favorite app to keep track of everything on is the Ovia app. But as far as community and getting advice and sharing your thoughts and stuff like that and, you know, being as a part of a forum, I really love the Bump app. I feel like everybody's just much more interactive in that app. And um, you feel like after a while, after talking to people, it's like you build a friendship with them, even though you don't really know them like that. But it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Um so yeah, you guys will see all that information down there. So definitely look out for that, um, for those links. So you guys can download the apps and just choose whichever you feel. Like I, as I go along, I try different apps just to see what I like. And so far I've downloaded four of them and four of them I kind of like in their own different ways because they all give different information that I think is important to know as you go along in your journey. Okay. So, um, yeah, I did say in the last video that I was going to run to the Dollar Tree to pick up some stuff, and I did. I went ahead and I bought a planner. This is a monthly 2017 planner from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar. Everything here that I'm about to show you guys is a dollar. Of course, you know, it's Valentine's Day, so it's a lot of love stuff. Um, hearts and flowers and roses and all those cute things. So, um... To add to my planner, I got some stickers. Like, listen, girl, I love me some stickers, okay? I would use the heck out of some stickers. Just stick them on my forehead, my nose, everywhere. My son, he knows already. Like, he'll come home with his stickers and put it on me because he knows what it is. <laughs> yeah, so um, I got some stickers from the Dollar Tree. And it comes with um, 54 pieces. And, um... Yeah, it's just for me to just stick in certain places just to keep track of whatever, you know, I'm dealing with at that particular time. Right now, I have all my information in the back of this old um, calendar book. So, I was desperately in need of an upgrade. Um, I also picked up another, picked up two boxes actually of the um, Assured Ovulation Protect, um, predictors sorry the ovulation predictors i picked up um two and i also picked up the assured um pregnancy test now mind you i have the um clear blue oh no sorry the first response i have the first response um pregnancy test but you know sometimes you use them and you know they come out as a bfn or a big fat negative and I feel like, you know, your money just kind of goes to waste. And those things are not cheap. For, like, one of those, you can get, like, 14 of these. Seriously. So, I think that it's something 
that you guys should maybe consider if you're trying to test early and test like in between you know your ovulation day and the day that you should actually test or the day of your next period okay so you guys can definitely look into that again these are only a dollar and they are pretty accurate like i this is my second time buying this i've never tracked my ovulation before i've always seen the difference in my body and how you know the cervical mucus looks and all that stuff but i never thought to keep track of it using an opk so this this is my second time buying it and actually it's really not that bad it's not that big of a deal for me so um and i can say when i tested with this on february 1st um it was pretty accurate actually it was it was a heavy um double because in the back it shows you that it, you should have like two lines and for me i had both lines on the day that i was supposed to have my peak ovulation so it's pretty accurate to me um i wouldn't say 100 percent, but nothing is 100 percent, and it doesn't it doesn't say 100 percent on the package anyway so um yeah just look into that um if you're trying to conceive and and you're looking into something that's pretty affordable but a little you know on the accurate side and 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 um all that good stuff so yeah i have been tracking so we're gonna get into this now before i run out of time i have been tracking my ovulation in this book i've been tracking my periods i've been tracking my ovulation so let's talk about this because maybe it's something that one of you ladies out there can relate to i have irregular periods sometimes uh, my period comes for 28 days or in 20 in, like cycle 28 or i would get like cycle 30 cycle 35 cycle 45 i would miss my period for like two months sometimes and just the next um, month I would have it and it just tries to get back on track like if I would miss my period for two months when I do get it is for like 10 days sometimes almost like exactly two weeks so um yeah it, you know our bodies are very complicated so it's good to kind of keep track of what it is that we're doing and everything um so what I did was this month I decided I was going to keep track starting with cycle day one um so my period lasted seven days it came at exactly um cd30 from december so basically after cd30 my last cycle day of december cycle day one restarted at the same time that it was supposed to so it was pretty much on the right track this month um I had it for seven days it was kind of normal usual cramp crampings but it wasn't really nothing that was surprising to me so it's, it wasn't nothing for me to note about that in particular um, after that you know we skipped the day and then we started doing the baby dance um, and let me say it's not fun to have to track <laughs> it's not fun to have to track the times and the days or whatever so you just kind of want to just do it when you feel like doing it you feel like having sex go ahead okay go ahead um so what we did was we basically we started um pretty much on cycle day nine we started so we skipped the day we started after that we skipped the day and then during the ovulation week because ovulation week we usually start around cycle day 14 I believe for me it started a little bit early I believe for me just based on the symptoms that I was having the look of my mucus the the, the feel of my body I just kind of felt like everything was just happening a little bit early so I calculated my ovulation week at CD 12 so that's cycle day 12 okay 12 days after the start of my period I got so sick, you guys. I was so sick all week long, like the entire ovulation period. I was stuffy. 
my nose was running i would like try to squeeze in here and i would see like tears running down my eyes i would just i felt horrible i it, it was just a different feeling for me and i'm like okay well you know i'm trying to conceive so i didn't want to take any medications that can kind of mess up the whole ovulation process or anything like that so I decided not to I was just drinking teas I was drinking um I was drinking um oh I was eating like oatmeal and stuff and um drinking soups and stuff like that so that's what kind of kept me going kept me hydrated and all that so that's something that I noticed um during my ovulation week I was pretty sick um that started exactly on cycle day 12 um so all that time you know ovulation for me i think really started um well ovulation week started on the 12th but my actual ovulation or the day that i tested for peak ovulation was around cycle day 16. so i was like my peak time so i know maybe two days before then was my high time and i think that you know it, i guess it was kind of in the right track i i guess um yeah so i did that and um tested tested positive and i used one of these so um you know you see the two stripes and you know you got to see it within a certain period of time so you got to see it within three minutes to know that the test actually worked and i did that it worked so i said okay well you know we're gonna we're gonna do it i mean baby dancing could get tiring y'all like i don't be wanting the the, the you know what every day you know, it could get tiring but you kind of say to yourself you know you have a goal you have a goal it's something that you want to do it's something that you want to have and you're excited about this process so you just go ahead and do it but sometimes y'all it can get a little bit frustrating like seriously so um not frustrating but like tiring so that's that's the word not frustrating tiring okay so um yeah and um what else did i notice dry mouth oh my goodness my tr my I, I was about to say my throat because you know i'm from the caribbean i'm about to say my throat my throat you guys oh my goodness my throat was so dry all week i water is your best friend like it's my best friend literally you need it you need to have the water because your throat gets so dry well mine did i'm not sure about you guys um but i'm sure that's one of the symptoms i guess um if you did something right i was reading about that and i was in the firms and all that and people used to say like you know they realized that they were pregnant or they were getting pregnant or whatever when they started getting like that dry mouth dry throat having to constantly drink water, having to constantly pop some halls or something to kind of keep their throat moisturized because it was so dry. So I noticed that also, and that happened like around ovulation day five or um, cycle day 16 for me. Um, and what else did I notice? I also noticed huh, cramps cramps i got cramps the day two days after ovulation cramping like my my peak ovulation so like around cycle day 18 i got these really bad cramps and i was like okay okay it's gonna take a little while for me to go to sleep this is kind of different you know it was like these zapping kind of pains and like this tugging and you can feel it on both sides and you know if you lay down on this side it kind of gets a little bit really but you feel it on that side and it was just a little bit different so th that's been happening also and gas ladies gas gas that's all i can say like flatulence is on an all-time high when you ovulate or for some reason it's been higher than normal for me this particular ovulation period i never noticed that before like i'm not saying that i don't fart of course everybody farts but <laughs> gas this time around was just at an all-time high every 
freaking minute, like every few minutes, it was just driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. I felt like, all right. I mean, it's better out than in, of course, but it was a lot. It was a lot, y'all. It was a lot. So, yeah, I definitely noticed a lot of gas. I noticed, um, what else? What else do I have here? Um, that's pretty much it that I noticed so far. And um, today is the 4th of February. So my ovulation was all of this week, like starting from cycle day 12, which was around like the 28th of January coming into the 3rd of February. So um, that was my ovulation week at any point during that time. If you, or if I, of course I had sex, but at any point during this time, I should be able to conceive um, during that ovulation period. And um, I don't know if it's true, but it, if you go online, you'll see that if you have sex two days or three days before the day that you actually are at peak ovulation, you may conceive a girl. And if you have sex on ovulation day itself, or two days after you may conceive a boy so those are some things that I actually looked up and let's see what the odds are because <laughs> you know I baby dance before and on ovulation day but I, I didn't do anything no I did I actually baby dance the day after ovulation but not today so um and not yesterday so let's see what happens um, yeah, so this is all I have for now, you guys. This is all I have for now. I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to go ahead and eat my Popeye's chicken because I'm hungry. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm starving. But I'm going to go ahead and eat something and then, um, just going to go ahead and, and sit down for a little bit, take some notes, um, fill out my new planner. And, um, I'll get back to you guys in part three, Okay. Because I am testing on Valentine's Day, actually. I'm testing on Valentine's Day. But, of course, I'm going to have another video for you guys before Valentine's Day. Because, um, you know, it may be something that I want to talk to you guys about. Oh, also, if you guys want to check out my beauty channel, I will link that also below. I do have a beauty channel. Um, I do makeup as well. So, that type of stuff is very fun for me in, in my off time and I'm sure I'm gonna have a couple more videos on here before maybe the end of the week because my son he's a little jokester I know you guys are gonna love him and I'm gonna do a couple of videos introducing him and hopefully my husband and um, getting them in on all of this fun and just have maybe spouse talk maybe so me and my husband husband can talk about our journey and, and what it is that we plan on doing and just tell you guys a little bit more about ourselves so stay tuned for those videos as well again you guys thank you so much for watching i know i blab a lot i talk a lot i know but <laughs> if there's anything that you guys need to know if there's any questions that you need to ask please do not hesitate i am gonna be here again my videos are not Full of a lot of graphics and a lot of fluff and a lot of you know editing and all that stuff but I'm basically just here to share information and gain information and if there's anything that you guys can add to this or anything that you want to tell me please go ahead and just tell me let me know how you feel because honey I need to know a thing or two or certain things that I, I don't know much of um, that I would like to learn and um i just hope that you guys got a little insight on me and um yeah the same communication all right again thanks for watching i'll see you in another video in part three of this ttc journey bye